Welcome back to Critics News with another update on As You Take The Go. So in case you have not followed us on the social media handles, we're on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So try and follow us on all the social media handles um, so you can be updated the more in case you are on any of them. All right? So um, And also, if you are watching, you can also help us in sharing the videos, especially on Facebook. Uh -huh. You understand? Okay, so let's go straight. Um, you know, I earlier told you about the unknown government. We didn't have the details as at that time. So um, we have gotten the details of what happened and how it happened in, um, is it not a Benue state? Okay, um, we had freed um, some detained um, innocent people that they raided and uh, refused to take to court. You see? So sometimes this unknown government will begin to, that is why um, sometimes you people are appreciating them and saying, God, we bless the unknown government for what they have been doing. I'm beginning to see reasons to that. You can imagine. They will arrest somebody. It is the same country that have a law that says that they, a, a, a suspect cannot remain in police custody more than 20, uh, 24 or 48 hours. But what do you have in Nigeria? Three years. You, they won't take you to court. Even in prison, people don't go to court. They leave them there to rot. Very, very bad. So um, they say that due to this very action, God sent his um, angels and they turned into a non men on earth. And then they went into the police station. And then the rest was history. Quickly, and they said that the imposter in Asorok also have uh, spoken concerning the coup um, that happened in, um, what do you call it, in Guinea. I say, wow, <laughs> you are speaking. Yes, I say yes. He said that they should restore peace immediately. I say, wow, Mr. Peace, peacemaker. These people learn the hypocrisy in them. The hypocrisy in them. And also, where is that one? Where, where is that? Where, where is that one? U.S. condemns military seizure of power in Guinea. When I see all this ranting on, on Facebook, he, he gets me annoyed. So when he extended the Constitution, U.S. did not condemn it. All. The U.N. did not condemn it. All. all U.K. did not condemn it. All. But when people who have been suffering rises up to, to their expectation and do the need for as men who knows what today is talking about you see yes you can gem uh, and Joe Biden can gem a uh, UN you can gem they are everywhere now they condemn with you can't you can't you help Africa to become a better place since the leaders are not normal but once Africa be, start getting normal yes you can gem UN you can gem you can gem and your countries are good. But when the failed looters, thieves, criminals in power are intimidating, killing protesters who are demanding for, for, for good living, you, you will not condemn. What have we gotten since um, the lucky killings of youth? What, what do we have? Have the U.S. banned or sanctioned uh, this fake Buhari and the lie Muhammad Rijon Onye Onye Okobara? Have they condemned or sanctioned any of them? The answer is no. But the, the people rose up and took over. You are condemning. Joe Biden condemned. Now let's go straight. They say how unknown government attacked police station in a bony state, set vehicles ablaze, free detained suspect. A yet to be identified gunmen have attacked the Evo Police Divisional Headquarters in a bony state. Igbere TV has learned. Speaking with Igbere TV, a resident of the area who craved anonymity said the attack was launched around 2 a.m. That's when the attack um, was um, launched. After the gunmen faced the gallant police officers on duty a, a fierce gun, in a fierce gun battle, according to, the, to our source, the gun battle lasted for more than an hour before the gunmen overpowered the police officers and have their way into the station. I don't know whether they, let me see whether they carted their rifles. I don't know. According to our source, as the gunmen gained access to the station, they broke the police cell and freed all detained suspects. The hoodlums also set one of the police operational vehicles, which uh, he lost, and a 14-seater bus. A blaze. No death was recorded, 
and the investigation is ongoing to unravel those behind the very attack. Efforts to speak with the Ebony State Police Command proved abortive as at the time of filing this report. And um, that is how it, it, uh, the news came. Uh, I don't know whether they took something from the police station. I don't really know. We are still uh, investigating whether um, rifles were taken or was it only um, the detained that they freed and uh, were trying to ascertain. So we want to use this opportunity to tell the police to go about their normal duties and then um, without fear of uh, any intimidation, we want you back to that station uh, tomorrow morning without any fear of intimidation or fear of molestation as um, we have restored peace we have talked peace um, back to your location so this evening we are expecting if i don't see anybody report to that police station and i go here we in the morning you people will all will dress up and run to police checkpoint to checkpoint and be extorting money from motor from motorists and our cadarists where there is no road this alone can annoy God himself. This alone can annoy even Amadio herself can even do something because of all this nonsense. Now, I'm moving away from there too. Um, they say that um, the failed president of the country has, um, you know, reacted to the coup that happened in uh, Guinea. I say, wow, president, but when you plotted your own coup, I don't think that the Guinea president uh, reacted. Buhari's regime asked Guinea coup plotters to immediately restore constitutional order. I say, wow, why not go to Guinea now? Why not go there to restore order and tell them that you are the, the Buhari that is robbing cream from old age to young age? Why not go there? Now, they say the Buhari regime on Sunday asked the Guinea coup plotters to immediately restore constitutional order in the country. You are in your country and you are telling them there, why not go to that place? The request comes after the Guinea military suspended the country's constitution and ousted the democratically elected government. In a statement on Sunday, Esther Sonsua, spokesperson for the Nigerian Foreign Affairs Ministry, said the coup de etat violates ECOWAS protocol on democracy and good governance. So are you telling me that the governor of Guinea, the, the president of Guinea, has been doing well? He does, the, the ECOWAS, you people are, are you, the protocol that you have doesn't favor the masses. It's a fraudulent protocol. If you have a protocol on good governance, then why are we suffering in Africa? You people, we have different, different protocols that will benefit human beings, but not, not implementable. We have referendum in your so-called African chart of uh, United Nations, but it is not obtainable. And when something like this happens, you share your protocol. The protocol. Now they they say that the Nigerian government is saddened by the apparent coup d'état that has taken place in the Republic of Guinea today in clear violation of the ECOWAS protocol of democracy and good governance. MS uh, uh, Sun Swan, in a statement, said, <laughs> The government of Nigeria strongly condemns and rejects any unconstitutional change of government and therefore calls on those behind the coup to restore constitutional order without delay and protect all lives and properties, she added. When this coup was carried out, nobody complained, nobody the rather the youth we are jubilating up and down the youth we are celebrating because they know let me play you this video first they know that uh, a a a bad leader has been removed let me play you this video when the army chief uh, spoke mm -hmm. yes le piétinement des droits des citoyens, l'irrespect des principes démocratiques, la politisation à outrance de l'administration publique, la gabésie financière, la pauvreté et la corruption endémique ont émené l'armée républicaine de Guinée à travers le comité national du rassemblement et du développement. 
CNRD à prendre ses responsabilités vis-à-vis -vis du peuple souverain de Guinée et dans sa totalité. Nous avons décidé ainsi, après avoir pris le président qui est actuellement avec nous, la République, nous avons décidé de dissoudre la constitution en vigueur, de dissoudre les institutions. All right, that's a short video there from one of the army chiefs. I think the video was actually um, two. Okay, there's also another one where they caught this uh, their president. Now, they say Guinea soldiers on um, Sunday said they've taken control of the government and suspended the constitution because the constitution is the one that the failed president also, just like this one here, um, amended to suit him on a third term and he wants to rule there forever. He, he doesn't want to even contest because he knows that um, the people will not vote against him. So he amended the constitution, bribed the, the uh, uh, cabinet, and they accepted it and he continued to rule. Which I know that even after this one that he has extended expires, he will still do another extension. But thank God for the intervention of this one. Whether you people like it or not, I just hope that Africa with one way or the other, revolution, any way it can happen, will help us to make things better because so many animals are in power in Africa. Human beings have left those. You just see whom animals in human form walking up and down, taking ruining lives of African youth. That is what we have. But we are praying and uh, hoping that one way or the other revolution will remove these looters and put the right people in power. Now they say uh, um, they say they dissolved the um, National Assembly, and the corner uh, the corner also disclosed that all land and air routes have been shut um, in the interim, asking citizens to remain at home and wait uh, for further instructions on the direction uh, which the government, the new government, will take. So that's what they are uh, waiting for now. That's a good one. Congratulations to Guineans. I just pray. I'm praying that this government that they will come in, even, even the military now self, can come in and do better than civilians. These civilians are criminals, all of them. All of them. Criminal civilian rules. They call it democracy, but it's demo demo tifisi, demo lutinsi. And they loon the Toki to Bodo Ibo. This one here now a plotted coup. I don't think that uh, he has gone for prison for that one. He used Fulani, his brothers, to side himself because he knows that his incompetency can lead, you know, to, to this kind of thing. That's why he used moles, people who can reason. Uh, 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 like him to side himself up and down. Look at this man. This one. This is the president. Tell him he has failed. Donc, pour ces frères, nous avons dissous la constitution. Nous allons dissous les institutions. Le gouvernement est dissous. La fermeture des frontières terrestres. On a une semaine encore. Et nous allons voir après les frontières aériennes, comment faire. Avec tous nos camarades, nous allons trouver la solution pour sortir du 7 KPJ. La personnalisation de la politique, de la vie politique est terminée. Nous, nous allons plus confier la politique à un homme. Nous allons confier au peuple. Nous verrons uniquement pour ça, qui est le devoir d'un soldat, de sauver le pays. La seule chose qui nous anime, c'est ça. Nous allons mettre en place un système qui n'existe pas. Et ce système, il faut qu'on le fasse tous ensemble. All right, so that's the update. Um, that one is from Al Jazeera too. Um, they say they've dissolved everything, and I'm hoping that this this dissolve this, this dissolving of their constitution will help the public make a better decision that will favor the masses. If the army says this with this opportunity, they can say, "Let us rearrange, agree, and properly do this thing." It will help. So the unknown government uh, in a bony state, um, people are saying more grace to your airborne. They have been praying for you, for the God of miracle to locate all of you and help you. I'm not the one. It is what people are saying because of what this failed government is doing. Imagine using DSS to, to be killing people, arresting, missing. Oh God, have mercy on Nigeria. Let me see you guys on the next one. Thank you. And let me know what you think about this update. See you.